Shalom, Shalom, all praises goes to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakat Kadash. The bonus goes into the apostles and elders from Great Millstone that have taught us this truth with much love and peace and blessings. Goes to the hopeful elect that are teaching the word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So, um, this is going to be a lesson about the U.S. birth rate. This is some information that just came out a couple of days ago. So I'm going to uh, um, read this article and then go into some information. Because basically what this video will surmise is that this uh, this fact that a pop that a country's population is on the decline. Right. That, that shows the destruction and the decay of a nation, of a place, of a country, if you will. Because America, of course, is like an amalgamation of all these different nationalities. But. Generally, women of all these different nations that live in America, they're not having babies like that because what they're told instead of being in their role, which is to um, guide the house and bear children. They're told to go out there and get a job, be a hoe, sleep with as many men as possible. And that is causing the very fabric of this society, which we call America, to, to, to be uh, disintegrated. And so be it. Because this is a wicked place any goddamn way that is totally in uh, opposition to the righteousness of the scriptures, right? So, so be it. But this is just a, really a sign that America is on the downs instead of the up and ups. Because when America was on the uprise, when it was on an uptick during this golden age, if you will, the 1950s, uh, early 60s, that's when you had what's known as the baby boomers. People were having children in <laughs> record numbers back then, babies being born left and right. And that's when America was at a zenith right after World War II. So what does this tell you? The opposite is happening right now. People are out of jobs, no babies being born because part of the babies not being born isn't just because the doctrine that they push, but also the fear because men have caught on to female nature. They don't want to have children with these women who uh, would not obey them. Or raise their sons and daughters to be as they want. And also the women, they're in fear because they know they won't eat. They don't even have the resources to take care of a of a, of a child. You know what I'm saying? So America's through. It's through. It's finished. This is it says U.S. birth rate has dropped again. The pandemic may be accelerating the decline. Overall, the birth rate declined by four percent in 2020. Births were down most sharply in December. When babies conceived at the start of the health crisis would have been born. The birth rate declined for the sixth straight year in 2020. The federal government reported on Wednesday early evidence that the that the Rona pandemic accelerated a trend among American women of delaying pregnancy, which that is idiotic. <laughs> if you look at it, you know. For what it is, right? Because as you de as you delay pregnancy, your window of having a healthy baby is goes down and down and down. The peak years for women to have healthy babies is between about fifteen and twenty four. That's when women have their most strongest uh, uh, children. It says early in the pandemic, there was a speculation that the major changes in the Amer. And the life of American families could lead to the, a recovery in the birth rate as couples hunkered, hunkered down together. In fact, they appeared to have had the opposite effect. Births were down most sharply at the end of the year when babies conceived at the start of the pandemic would have been born. Births declined by about 8% in December compared with the same month of the year before. A monthly breakdown of government data showed. So, I mean, look, this is a sign of the of the ending of a society when you just, you know, understand what this is about. So let's go to a few scriptures to show you. This is Genesis 1 and 27. So the most high created man in his own image. So when it says man, it's talking about mankind, male and females. In the image of the Most High created he him. In his image, basically, the Most High's image represents his righteousness. In other words, 
the way men and women are supposed to conduct themselves. We're a, a reflection. We're supposed to be a reflection of the most highest wishes for humanity, if you will. By And how do we do that? By keeping his ways. See, because the first man, Adam, was imparted with the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. So he didn't think that to get with another man. Because there were multiple men and multiple women around the time of creation that were all made at the same time. But Adam, he didn't think to get with other men because he had that divine knowledge in which he knew that he was supposed to get with a woman, among other things, like not murdering, not stealing from each other. They knew all of this. That's part of the Most High's image. It says, and, and the Most High blessed them and said unto them, right? So they received a blessing. A blessing is what? Good fortune. So that's something that the Most High uh, had placed upon them, good fortune. And it's going to detail what part of what this blessing is. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. So that's a part of the blessing is for when you and your wife get together, you have many children and those children have more, many more children and, and so on and so forth. So that makes you to what? Multiply. And that is a blessing. So if the opposite is happening in America, what does that mean? It means America is under a curse. America is under a curse because what? For one, for, for first and foremost of the harm and damage that they've done to the Israelite people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the slavery, the killing, the lynchings. Number two is they refuse to, because they're heathens, of course, the top, you know, these Edomites, so-called Caucasians. Because they're Edomites, they cannot get with the righteousness of the scriptures. So only the righteousness of the scriptures, which is following what's written. That's the only thing that will allow your society to flourish. That's it. There's no, oh, we're going to do set up Satanism or Baal worship, give women independence and think that you're going to be on top forever. No, it don't work like that. It says, and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. All right. So let's go to First Timothy chapter five and verse 14. I would therefore that the younger women marry. So when it says younger women, what does that mean? Younger woman is Nias. And it says, a youthful, fresh, new. Younger, a young man or a young woman. Recently born, young, youthful. So what is a young woman? Around that time, during the Apostle Paul's time, would have been a woman, what? 13, 14, 15, early teens, 20s. He's telling them you should be married. You should get married. It says, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak repro reproachfully. So this is the thing. They're supposed to bear children, to, to get pregnant and raise those children by what? The men of the Lord that they were dealing with at that time, because your children are supposed to replace you. If you are a man of the Lord, a prophet, your son is supposed to be a prophet too. If you die, he carries on the charge. And we know that's not always the case, but that's how it's supposed to be. You know, your, your, your woman, the children she has, starting with the sons, continue on your name. So if no one's having children in America, that's the discontinuation. You know, this place is fucked. It says... uh. Psalm 127, and start from verse 3. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. So that lets you know how important the fruit of the womb is. In other words, babies, a woman having babies. It's a reward from Yahweh Bashim Shai. Because children are a blessing. They replace you in the earth. That's how you continue yourself. You continue your name. All your efforts... And the fruits of your labor, you don't want it to just perish. You don't want it to go in thin air as you grow old and, you know, you're not able to sustain yourself anymore. Your children carry on your legacy. And that's what makes them such a, a blessing. 
So what? Your name won't be blotted out. Your nation and their customs and tra- your nation and your customs and traditions, everything you went through, your stories, your uh, hardships, it's inherited by your children, man. So it says, um, as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. So you're supposed to with children come happiness because you know why they they could be utilized, not just for the point of your legacy, but also while you're still around. You have boys that can go to war. That could be an army. Let's say you have a family of 10. You have 10 sons. And those 10 sons have 10 sons which is 100, and each of those 10 sons have another 10. In just three generations, you have a 1,000 men. A 1,000 men. That's a small army ready for, ready for anything. And also, when you have daughters, they're valuable. They add that uh, they carry on traditions. They carry on, you know, household manners because they're supposed to guide the house. You know, you, daughters can also be leveraged for money. Married to men of esteem and give you connections with those other families that have that are esteemed. You see what I'm saying? So that's why children are a blessing. But now, you know, especially to the common man, children can be a curse because you don't even have control over your children. They're being programmed by the TV or whatever the shit media that they're into when watching cartoons. A lot of demonic shit gets snuck into cartoons, by the way. Um, you know, if any given time Esau find out you disciplining your children by whooping their ass, he could come and take them away from you. So it's just a depressing ass fucking existence we live in because, you know, so-called white men is the devil. There's no, no other way I can put it. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with the enemies in the gate. So let's go to another one. This is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman, being deceived, was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. And that's what is, you know, the requirement of a woman. Saved in childbearing. But let's look at the word for childbearing. Um... Strong's G, 5042. Technagania. Technagania. Technagania, which means a childbirth, maternity, the performance of mother maternal duties. So getting your children their clothes washed, <laughs> fed, whatever directives the father wants their children to know, you, you stand in the middle. And offer that wisdom to the child. Also, the very act of uh, carrying a child to term and birthing it. That's how women get saved, man. That's how a lot of our women will end up getting saved, you brothers in the truth. Because, not just because they believe, but because the simple fact they had that your child. And you care about them. It says, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. So that's also part of, of a requirement, you know, because you can admit that a lot of our women, they're going to they gonna become believers because of how crazy shit is about to get out here. They're not going to have room to disagree with you because it's going to be life or death situations. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's about it. If I can get another one. Move with your phone. Talk to your mom, man. It's my TT. Oh, I thought, okay. We'll talk to her. <laughs> so, uh, let's go to, uh, that pump is bought. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 14 and 11. 
No, start from 12 and then go to 11. This is verse 12. How are thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? And that Lucifer represents the elites, the elites of Edom, these Edomites. How are thou cut down to the ground, which did its weak in the nations? Cut to the ground, meaning because they're going to be at the bottom of the bottom. They're at the top right now, but they're going to go to the bottom. So let's go to verse 11. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms will cover thee. So the point of me bringing up the worms, that's the point of uh, me bringing out this precept. A worm represents decay. Because when a body dies, the worm gets, you know, the worms infiltrate your body, and they start to eat it from the inside out. So that's what's happening in America. It's decay. Of course, you can go into the infrastructure, society at large, other things, you know what I'm saying? But... Just the fact that people ain't even having children, that's fucking, that's decay. That's the sign, that's a sign of a dying society, a dying culture, a dying country, whatever word you want to use. So, I mean, all these are signs and it's letting us know as watchmen, men of the Lord, that this is it. America is through. Shalom.